What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I think that I teach you something that's very important. You know, I've been maining the support role for quite some time now, I would say, and something that I've realized is no one, absolutely no one takes advantage of the alcoves. I don't think I've seen one player do this, and it's something that I frequently do, frequently. It doesn't matter the champion you're on. You think this is something I could only do on Scion back in the day, but no, you can do this pretty much every support, and it's always going to be a net positive if you play it smart. Sometimes when it comes to the bot lane, it's only going to take that one gank from the jungler. So one or two kills, snowball your bot lane into a carry lane. So if you can get this snowball happening without the need of the jungler, then this is just going to increase your gains so much as a support player. We're going to go through a couple of examples here on different champions, my thought process on them, and hopefully by the end of it, you'll see the worth in doing this and applying it to your own gameplay. Before we jump into that, I need to tell you about this amazing chance to win a free PC. I love that. If I was you, I'd be thinking that this is a rendered 3D model straight out of the League folder, but it's actually an epic gaming PC designed to look like the Nexus, sent to me by Signal RGB. The crystal is surrounded by an infinity mirror and it can easily be lifted to reveal the components inside. For those curious, I'll list the specs on the screen. All the RGB is fully customizable with the Signal RGB application, which controls and syncs the RBG devices from any brand you have. Pretty sick, right? Fortunately, you've also got the chance to win one for yourself. To enter the giveaway, Way, click the link in the description of this video. This game starts off like every other, me sitting at my tower, helping absolutely nobody. I then spot the enemy jungler invading our red side. This gives me the idea of going and messing with him, obviously. This is something I learned while doing double jungle. If I steal the raptor, it screws them over, right? So most of the time junglers smite it to try and get level two to kill you. The problem with that is, as long as I'm willing to commit not going to lane, then I'm gonna have the opportunity to stop him from getting red. And that is exactly what we do here. Obviously, this is a lot easier to achieve when I'm playing someone like Sion, but Leona has the potential to 1v1 as well. As long as I utilize the red to 2v1 rumble, I don't see any reason why this couldn't work. Besides the massive disrespect aspect of this, on the other side of the map, you can look and see that Graves is taking every single thing from the Rumble. He's gonna come back underleveled, no smite, and no buff. Now that we've been away from the bot lane, obviously our ADC is pushed in and slightly behind, so we attempt to get him some gold back. Look at the Graves, his pathing sinks up, and we get the 3v2 in the bot lane. Unfortunately for our ADC, he gets killed, but overall, our team gains so much. Okay, so let's talk about the alcoves, what I mentioned earlier. In this situation, I'm looking at my Varus, he's going back to base, and I have just entered lane. Our back timings didn't sync up, there's literally nothing I can do. So the best thing for me to do is to put myself in a position that can potentially get my ADC more gold in the long run, rather than walking around risking dying. I mean, I guess I could put down some wards, but this is a... Cl close to guarantee to getting gold. You see me walk into the alcove. Varus is obviously, he knows what's going on. There's very low risk. At this level, no one's wasting a ward behind the alcove. You've only got two of them. You're not gonna be dropping it there. One's going in the river and one's gonna be in a brush in the lane. I think what I want you to take away from this is that it's all about timing. You can't just sit in the alcove whenever you want to get this play to work. It has to be in a situation where they're not gonna expect you to be there, there's low risk, and you're not losing anything as a trade-off. I'm not losing anything because Varus isn't there. In this example, we don't fully kill them, but we've done enough damage to push them out of lane. We're gonna heal up, and then we're gonna have lane pressure from here. We get lucky, Ari rotates, and they get completely punished. But that was besides the point. They were gonna lose lane off that anyway. It's these tiny little things that end up allowing you to take over the lane.
Okay, you've just watched the exact same thing I did. In your mind, we probably lost, right? Because our ADC died and theirs didn't. In my mind, they lost. They're both level one. The wave is in a terrible spot for them and I can zone them out. They have to go back now. I can just completely win the lane. At the end of the day, what comes down to winning isn't who got that first blood, it's who has lane control. They have to go back, they can't farm, they can't get experience, they're gonna come back, we're gonna be level three, they're gonna lose the game off of that. And that is exactly what happens. The important thing though, is to keep up the pressure. If you just let them push that wave in, they would have gotten that for free. Stop giving people things for free. If I've learned anything about this bot role, it is that ADCs and support, they are robots and they just want to AFK and farm. You put them in an uncomfortable position, they fall so quickly. They have no clue what to do. They just know meta. Here I am playing Renata, we're up against a Caitlyn. I know that Renata can see me walking behind her into the alcove. That is the point. It's either A, she gets afraid and plays more passive, her wave is pushing in, she's gonna get zoned out. So she has to come and check it, or she has to give up farm. One of the two options is gonna happen, she ends up checking it and gets completely baited. Fast forward, see Cogmore pushes in the wave and he starts to recall. I notice that he is going to miss this tower plating, so I stick around to pick up that gold. Maximum efficiency. And while trying to recall, TF ults to the bot lane to stop me. Ultimately, this doesn't matter. Our wave is gonna slow push back. Even if I died here, my Cogmore is gonna be able to farm very safely. And that is exactly what the enemy bot lane is thinking as well. There's no reason for me to stick around. Why would I? The wave's gonna crash. He's gonna farm, which is what everyone else would do because there's no risk. I can sit in the alcove and get them completely off guard. There's absolutely no reason for me to be in the alcove there, and that is why it's gonna work.
Y'all ain't on his level, bitches tell Torella. Y'all can never beat him like a 